What's up, YouTube? This is Pop Tech with an unboxing. And if you can see, I have on a Superman shirt to go with this DC Lego Collector's box for the Superman box. As you know, I'm not a big Superman fan, but you know, this has to be some good stuff in if I'm going to go all out for y'all. So let's see what's in it. And, and if you actually listen, it looks like something rattling inside of it. So, I saw a post where someone said that their stuff was broken when they got it or smashed. So let's see and hope that it's not that way. So open it up. Oh, that's what it was. The pen and the patch both somehow came out of the packaging for it. So the pen is a Superman pen, of course. And it's like the old comic book version of Superman. And it's very nicely drawn. It has the sky blue black ground. The um, like a seal, seal almost for the pen. It's very nice. And the patch is Superman flying in the air. It says it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. And it's a very nice patch. It's something I'll probably will wear on something, but not really gonna dedicate to it. So both the pen and the patch are a very good deal for this one. The coloring on the patch is just as good as the color on the pen is the light blue again with the old school Superman look to it. So let's see what's inside of the box. Alright, this box is a little skimpy looking, but not really. So we have the t-shirt. We have a t-shirt this round. And it is a baby blue t-shirt. Superman which says the man is still on it. And it has the pop look for the Superman on it, which is not too bad. It's really the, like the baby blue color, I guess, for the sky, like he's in the, flying in the sky, could contrast with the other blue he wears. Uh, let's see what I sort of open first. Well, is that comic in here? Let's see. They have these boxes backwards this time, so it looks kind of weird. So the comic this time is the Superman number one. And has him standing on top of a building with his cape flying. And it's, that's the first time I've actually seen a number one issue for them for a pop cartoon um, comic strip. So this is not too bad. And let's see. Let's start small. So we have the exclusive keychain here. The keychain is Superman and Flight. It has a curl for his hair. If you look at it, he has his like he does his arm out to fly and his legs kind of bent. Cape is lying in the background. It's a very nice design. Um, could be a pop if he could find a way to make it stand up perfectly. <laughs> so it's not too bad of a keychain there. And then we have the action figure, which is very nice. A very first appearance of Superman. The way he looked in his first appearance with the different kind of design for his symbol, his Superman symbol. So it's not that bad. It has him actually on the the artwork for the the casing wise. It has him holding up the car from the very first issue of Superman when he first came out, which I have to find and see if I can find an actual comic cover of the very first one to show y'all comparison with to show you how it looks. But the Superman is posable. He has his eyes are kind of closed though. That's the only thing about it. The cape is plastic from the looks of it, so it wouldn't really be very movable in there. It's not too bad. Now we get to the pop that's in the box. And this is the classic Superman box. Ah, I see what it was talking about. It's poorly glued. They poorly glued the box kind of together. It's like a rush job on this one. It's not too bad. It has the him standing in his Superman pose, his arms on his salt shine, his cape is flapping in the wind, he's standing up straight, his has the hair swoof as usual, the cowlick. So it's not too bad of a design. It's actually overall it's a good looking pop. I have to see and see what the Superman number one, the first Superman they made in the line of pops, see how it is compared to this one here. Only issue I, was, I would say I have is again is the how they glue the box together. It's just a rust glue job. And this might be fixable. It just to me, I'm just OCD about things. So just a little. It's not. It's a perfectly done box. It's just the way it's glued together. So not too bad in this box. 
The last thing in the box would be how they did the concept and design for everything. And it shows how they made the action figure one. It shows how they did the t-shirt design, the pop. It's a keychain. The keychain's at the very bottom. And then the patch and the pin, a little bit about the both of them. And that's how, that's how it looks there. And then the next box that will be coming in, let's see, February, February, March, April. April box is going to be the Wonder Woman box for the movie. I'm hoping mostly movie theme items because our movie is coming out this summer. So hopefully they'll put some movie theme exclusive for the box for her. So if you want to get the box again, the link is always in the description of how to get them. You can do the monthly subscription, the bi-monthly subscription price, or you can do the whole year subscription price. Um, I did do some math on it. It's like a 10 cent difference in the price if you do the full year subscription or if you just do bi-monthly. So it's your choice of how you want to do the boxes. So to, for me, I'll just do bi-monthly just to not keep track of everything. You can decide if you want to quit a box if you don't want it or not. Oh, it's, if you look at and this day is actually on uh, Women's Day, International Women's Day, and on the front it says Power, Grace, Wisdom, and Wonder. This is a very nice box for them to actually do for, if they had it came out for today, or came out with a special pop for today, for Women's Day, it would be nice to have the one woman pop for today. So, inside, you can see the artwork in there. There's nothing else in here. Um, it's mostly the same image from the looks of it. Just him pulling off his shirt and then him in flight. It's just not too much of a difference in there. So inside this box we had the just so I can make y'all display area for it. You have the pop. We have the keychain. We have the action figure, the comic, and then the t-shirt. And of course, the patch and pin that somehow in my box was shaking and came loose. So, but they're in still good condition. And there's a pin. So again, if you wanted to get this box, we get the bi-monthly boxes. The next one coming up is the Wonder Woman box will be out in April. So the last day to order that will be March the 31st, if I'm not mistaken. So they have a countdown clock on their website to let you know when the last day to order any of their boxes such as this. So. If you want to get it, you can get it. I'm actually working on getting the Marvel Collector's Corp um, box. They have a one for the Guardians of the Galaxy box coming out, so that's going to be a good box as well. So, let's see. I'm trying to see what I like best out of the box out of here so far. It would probably be the best, definitely action figure because it's very nice. It's very simple. It reminds you of something that you could just go and just. This is something you will want to take out of the box and just play with probably. Because you can't really do too much with a pop or even a keychain because they don't really move too much, but this one can move. So, thank you for watching my video. Like, subscribe, and comment.